Try to explain to me the aspiring bad player. Well, I feel like uh, edge guarding pops is actually kind of hard as Peach. Okay. Um, you've got so many angles that you can go, and Peach can't really cover all of them unless she reads the up B and goes out there. Side B, uh, Shorten's really good. Crouch is actually pretty good against Peach in a lot of spots. Um, not good against Down Smash, obviously. That's true. You know this. I feel like my up B just gets red a lot, so he's always just kind of there, closing the angle. Well, you're a box player, right? Yeah. You probably, like, yeah, you're inputting the coordinates in, in such a way that it's just... People can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Yeah, the cloud is gonna get some more creepy boxes. Yeah, I'm also just trying to reach the <laughs> chat. Uh, I... This is like... This is a make or break set for the tournament. This, this uh, defines who goes into the grand finals. And you know me and McLeod had a really close set on that play. I did not know that. And me I and Buskin just had an absolutely one-sided set. It's so. true. You made him look bad at this game, which is a thing I did not anticipate saying. Uh, well, better start believing in, uh, in that. <laughs> something, something. Anyway, <laughs> good start from McLeod. That's true. Why, why would he strike here? Uh, well, what are your options, you know? Surely he gets... You don't want to go to Stadium. Right, I suppose the Stadium uh, being neutral and now kind of changes things a lot. So the, the option is really like this or Battlefield. Yeah, yeah, but... I think Battlefield is better for Peach. However, right. you preference. get trolled by the top platform on Battlefield. Especially okay. with a patient player like Musky. <laughs> oh, good recovery. You can actually down air that. Uh, Peach's down air is really low. It's, yep. One of the lowest moves. He loves to be waiting for me, though. Yeah. This is not looking like their winners, though. I wonder whether they played Yoshi's in winners, because I feel like Musket is playing pretty evasive, and that's, like, right. obviously countered by Yoshi's, right? That's true. When you drill in the air, you might just get down smash when you land. As in when you, you catch a floating page, but... Yeah. It does happen. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, gonna have like to figure something out. Some of his edge guard. Just kind of... Yeah. I mean, again, I, I imagine that being a good box sometimes changes things, but... Um, no, that's good. I mean, McLeod's a good, good, good punish game, for sure. The thing about melee is, like... When I played for like six months, right, and I knew how to like down throw down tilt boxes, That's people were like, S.A. Nick, he melts stuff. And it's like, no. <laughs> Just like the, the more options the other guy does, yeah. the harder they are cover. Musty got away with some, uh, some stuff in Winners, I, I noticed as well. Like, key game one momentum sucks where he like double jumped back on Sage's back air and then got like shine, shine back air off of it. And that didn't happen this game, the same situation came up, so. Right. McLeod just a bit sharper on his, like, advantage situations, you know? And, uh, McLeod lolling. I could hear it. I could hear his goofy little laugh in the, in the distance. Yucking it up. The two and a half meter distance from, uh, ahead of the players? Yeah, exactly. And here we are, on the, the crazy... Pokemon Stadium. The fair and balanced fun stage that I love. Yeah, this stage is very good for Fox. Yep. Against Peach. Almost all matchups, really. Yeah, I think Moth has an argument for being better than Fox on this stage. Right. At least in this matchup. I think I'd take it to a battlefield as my, my try and strike here, though. Yeah. And again. What an edge guard. <laughs> Jab up smash is so crazy. That's Foxes like will just like fish for uh, jab out of like disadvantage a lot. Lax is right. Falco is also really good on stage. Yep. <laughs> Got out here contradicting Lax. Oh. Musky's falling apart here. McLeod's making a, an absolute surge through losers, and that you, kills! You called this earlier. Can you imagine that killing at 79? I mean, I, 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 welcome to Pokemon Stadium, my yeah. friend. 
Ooh. a fair and balanced stage, much like Fox News. Yes, exactly. Like that. Uh, <laughs> Musket with a really good wave dash out of shield to punish Peach's down smash there, and he got the full, like, triple wave challenge up to conversion up here. That's the, like, crucial stuff to this matchup. If you let Peach do the easy stuff and get away with it, then uh, you're not gonna win. Ooh, and I love that that hits behind. Good pick up as well. I feel like maybe I'm just underestimating the difficulty of covering Peach's recovery options, but does McCloud get back too much, too often? Yeah, you can definitely limit Peach a lot. I feel like when I play against McCloud, I'm just good at back airing off the ledge. Right. That seems to work a lot. With Moth? With Fox. Oh, okay. Ooh, good read. McCloud loves that power shield. What do people think about power shield down tilt with Fox? I think it's fucking insane. I, I was playing against the Moth, I think it was you, and I was like, what if I power shield down tilted? Because every fair you hit me with, if I power shield down tilted it, oh my god. Did you do this to me? I was... No, it was a brainwave okay. that I had later in the day. I see. I definitely hopped on to have some quick fun with my bad Moth and got you first game yeah. after a 10 minute queue. Yeah, it was a long queue. That's, I stuck around for a long I played some bad people for a long time. We got a lost up situation. Oh, he makes it back! The dream freaking weave. And now no it's dead anyway. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm wrong. That's a choke, actually, because he yeah. had that really poorly and then the angle. I hit that angle 100 times out of 100. Yeah, because he just, just, just pressed the button. Yeah. You just type in diagonal down left, please, and uh, the box does the rest. Borderline true. Yeah. All right, we got 2 0 to the cloud. I must get needed that one. This is brutal because Peach I mean, is kind of fixing this matchup. Uh, kind of crazy. Two games on FD. I mean, what's the other one? Is it FOD or Dreamline? Uh, FOD, FD. Right, okay. FD is Shanghai City, you know? I think Dreamline is not even that good in this, in this matchup. I mean, I like to run away, so Dreamline is great fun, but, um. Yeah. Oh. Like, the matchup has gotten to a point where there's, like, no real room for green line. Because, like, you won't start on it and you won't kind of do it. Right, okay. What's changed from that winner stuff? The cloud is just hitting way harder. Okay. And the so thing is, is when, a... when you hit hard, you, like, slow the other guy down, you know? Yeah. So it is literally just a simple calculus of a little more in the the punish well, column. He's nailing every edge guard, and McLeod was opening him up. He was running over him. I mean, sorry, Musket was running over McLeod and winning. Yeah. yeah. That was my perspective from the couch. Yeah, McLeod's just saying, look, man, slow down. There's a brick wall in front of you, you know? <laughs> and you're gonna freaking probably die if you hit it too fast. Oftentimes the case with brick walls. Yeah. Ooh, good edge guard. And as Melodic said, his edge guards today have been crazy. They've been crispy. He's on a warp off. He's coming to you. He's coming for me. And I'll be honest, I'm shaking. I mean, are you? Yeah. I saw your winner set with Moscat. Well, yeah, I mean, but. I wasn't even playing and I was shaking. Yeah. But I mean, Cloud's doing equally well, I would say. Didn't you, like, four-stop him? You can't four-stop with Beach, really. Okay. It's a, it's, it's a more trade-heavy matchup. Sure. That makes sense. That's potentially going to be it, though. Fortunately, sends the wrong way. And this is oh, do-or-die no. for Musket. So. This is a do-or-die double dinner date. If, you, if that reference hits for anyone. I don't even know what it's a reference to. <laughs> I think it's like a college humor Seinfeld impression. You are definitely <laughs> just putting together random syllables. <laughs> All, right. All right, peace. All right. See you, everyone. <laughs>